Welcome back to Trading 360. I'm Nicole Petalides at the New York Stock Exchange. We have a very special guest with us. Rick Worcester is with us, president of the Charles Schwab Corporation. So glad that you are here in person on our set. Glad that you're here. We have so much to talk about, and the integration is number one. The last few folks from Ameritrade went over to Schwab. How would you say this integration went? Well, I think it, overall it's gone exceptionally well. We've brought over 17 million clients, $2 trillion of assets, and we've done that flawlessly to the penny. And we've created a platform that's now as strong as it's ever been, both for our advisor clients and for our retail clients. The, the power of the uh, acquisition to me is the fact that we now have the best trading platform in the world through Thinkorswim and everything that Ameritrade brought. And we combine that with our lending, our banking, our wealth and advice capabilities from Schwab. And now our platform we think is unrivaled. So it's, it's really exciting to have this acquisition done and behind us. Yeah. And, you know, from what I understand, everybody talks about this integration and looking at the different features and, and putting the best. They still have Thinkorswim. They are using that and they get the best of what Schwab had to offer at the same time. And so with this all this transition of these funds, 401ks, uh, you know, retirement funds, various assets, but you're really catering to all kinds of clients, right? You have investors, you have traders, right? Absolutely. And I, we think our trading platform has never been stronger than it is today because yeah. we take everything that Ameritrade had to offer, including this, this channel, which we love and uh, is a great way to engage and interact with clients. We take all the research that Schwab had. We take the uh, trading venues that, that Ameritrade had and combine that with Schwab and our trading offer, we think, has never been stronger. In fact, we on a, on a daily basis do two times the number of trades as the second largest trading competitor that publicly reports trade. So mm. this is the place to trade and we're, we're excited about that. Yeah, look, I, I mean, there, it's been written up. Uh, this is about the future of the clients. What a Goliath of wealth management Schwab really is. I mean, this is what you care about, right? I mean, to get this right. And really, May 11th, 12th, I think, was the last of the most complex um, traders and clients that went over to Schwab, right? That's correct, yeah. And, and we're seeing great engagement from them. Actually, we're seeing trading activity from clients that have been converted to Schwab incre has increased about 20% hmm. since they were converted. We've seen $60 billion of new money from Ameritrade clients come over after conversion. Uh, and we're seeing client promoter scores, which is a measure of satisfaction. Two quarters after Ameritrade clients have been at Schwab, their satisfaction's up 30 percentage points. So we're seeing terrific engagement from clients that come over, and it's, uh, it's just it's wonderful to see. Yeah, and as I was looking through and I think about, you know, someone coming over, and there was a lot of skepticism, of course. Right. Right? Oh, how's my goods going to work over there? And, and it did. And you have 24-7 chat support and all kinds of uh, live market data, research tools, and these features and functions that are a collaboration from what you've heard from the clients. You know, I like this feature, I like this function, let's, you know, get this all in one. And, and the enhancements that are happening, tell me a little bit about several of the enhancements that you have now bringing to life for the yeah. traders. Absolutely, well I think we have done exactly what you said, Nicole, which is try to bring the best of both firms' capabilities to the client. Uh, there, there are some cases where We've heard from clients there's things we can improve upon, even from all the work we've done to get where we are today. And the primary area where I think that's the case is our mobile app. And our mobile app, if you look down the app store at the time of the acquisition, our mobile app was rated 4.8. Ameritrade's was right around the same. Both really highly rated apps, but built for different purposes. The Ameritrade app was largely built for the trader. The Schwab app was built for more the general investor who wanted an entree into all that we had to offer at the firm. And so as we move forward, one of the things we're really investing in is to make sure we bring all the power of the Ameritrade app for traders into the Schwab app. We've made a number of enhancements even this week, including a new feature we roll, uh, rolled out this week to close and roll options to make that experience a lot easier. Mm. That's a home run for clients because it takes right. what used to be eight clicks on our Schwab app down to one click. And so well, you'll see a lot of those things come out as it relates to streaming of data, which we've heard loud and clear from our, Merit our Ameritrade clients that they want. Uh, the way they see positions, uh, the dashboard is something that's uh, really meaningful to Ameritrade clients, something they loved on the app that we're now incorporating into the Schwab app. Yeah. So there's all kinds of enhancements coming. We want to make sure we really deliver for 
our former Ameritrade clients uh, for their needs, and we're trying right. as hard as we can to do that. And look, I'm sure you're closely tracking that transition of those clients and how that's going. I mean, you made the point about volume and yeah. the daily trading volume. And people are trading, right? Yeah. I mean, that's it's great. They're engaged. And look, we had a tough month in April, for example, uh, but a market that's been hitting new highs. Mm -hmm. um, so they're engaged in trading. The volumes are looking good, right? Yeah, it's been it's been a resilient market, and it's a market in which our clients are engaged. When we look at our Schwab Trading Activity Index, which we call our Stacks Index, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, our clients have been net buyers of equities. And when we look at our sentiment surveys. While bullishness isn't at the peak around the equity market, uh, it's still at high levels and well above where it was the last couple of years. So we really are seeing uh, significant engagement in the market. You see it in our daily average trades, which are at, yeah. remain at, at strong levels. So our yeah. clients are trading, they're active, and uh, they're participating in the markets. And I think that the, the Stacks report, it, it's proprietary data. We can see what people are buying and selling. And in that last report, folks, uh, NVIDIA, AMD, SMCI, Amazon, Microsoft were th some things they bought. They sold Disney and PayPal once again, trimmed exposure there, um, and also uh, sold, off, sold off some Exxon, Devon, and Oxy because, you know, look, energy did well and they probably took some profits. When I think about the bullish sentiment, it may have dropped off a bit, but people are still very engaged. Um, overall confidence is very high. And this is according to some of the surveys that I, I read through. Um, they plan on allocating more money to single stocks, more research. So maybe they're not leveraging as much, but they are in. Absolutely. Right? What do you think about that? Well, I think it's great. The main thing is we want our clients to be engaged and we want them to own their tomorrow. And I think the fact that they are so engaged in the market and, and the market's held up and is, uh, is encouraging for our clients. Look, there was some concern about inflation. Yes. I don't think that's a news flash. <laughs> um, quarter over quarter, that uh, jumped uh, to 19% from 9%. But the whole world's waiting to see what the Fed will do. And this yeah. is just part of the volatility that we see and concerns, inflation, stagflation, all of these types of things. Um, you know, when I think about bringing these folks over and the strategy of doing so, it must have been so complex. I can't imagine how, you know, what went on with the team right. to, to do this so meticulously and seamlessly. Yeah, well, I think what we did was we took four years to try to bring together the best of both firms to our clients so that we can serve them and fulfill our mission of helping them in their, in their financial life to the best, we, uh, best uh, possible that we can do. And uh, it was complicated, but we took the time to do it right. It was the most complex, the broadest integration in the history of our industry. We brought over watch lists and positions. We brought over cost basis. Historically, when integrations like this have been done in our industry, they flip a switch, they move the client over, and one day you're the client of Ameritrade, and the next day you're a client of Schwab, right. and all your data is erased. We didn't do that. We tried to bring over everything that the client loved at Ameritrade, including the, all the data that they had about their trading and their history, and bring it over to Schwab. And I think that's made a real difference in terms of our retention of Ameritrade clients, which has been quite high and well above our expectations. Oh, that's a big deal. I mean, because that's part of the recipe, right? You got them over it, but then you have to keep them. And to your point, they're, they're doing more. You know, when I, when I think about just the big picture, they're really getting access to, as I mentioned, the 24-7 chats, all kinds of education. Financial literacy now right. versus 10, 15, 20 years ago, so different, right? Absolutely. And actually, financial literacy is a topic that at Schwab we've been engaged in for years. It's been a real passion of our founder, Chuck Schwab, and his daughter, Carrie, have made yeah. it a, a real uh, real effort to try to make sure that particularly young people in our country are educated about the financial system. And, you know, it's, it's striking. I think they've found it striking. I find it striking that in, in our high school education, it's, uh, it's not very common to have a class on finance. Uh, and so... The more people get engaged in markets and in their financial future, the better off they're going to be. And, and we're, we want to do anything we can to add to that. Yeah. And just a, a final thought just about how unique Schwab is. And, uh, you know, I know you care about the clients and their future. And uh, when we look at this, oh, 17 million accounts, oh, nearly $2 trillion in assets. This was a $26 billion deal that was right. announced back in, in 2019. I mean, it took so long. But that was because... 
they care to do it right. I mean, we haven't heard any, you know, horror stories or anything like right. that. It's been all good news. Um, just some final thoughts, Rick, you know, because I know everybody's trading. They're into right. AI and right. they're watching inflation, but they're seeing the NASDAQ and the S&P at new highs. It's been an exciting year. Um, but maybe some final thoughts about just how ha happy you must be that yeah. this is done and now moving forward, as you said, new enhancements yeah. and everything. Well, I am happy because it was a lot of work and it went really well. But I'm also happy because to me now the fun part starts. We get to take this platform that where we've brought the best of Ameritrade and the best of Schwab together and offer it to our clients. And our mission, the reason we work so hard is to make a difference in our clients' financial lives. And by having the strength of what Ameritrade has always had, particularly on the trading side, and the strength of what Schwab has in terms of our investing, our wealth, our lending and borrowing capabilities, because we have all that in one place, I think we can do a better job helping clients in their financial journey than we've ever been able to do. And so the fun part starts now, bring, taking out all the clients and, and helping them get to where they want to be in their financial life. Yeah, and it's exciting to hear how they're using all the features and, and tools and functions and learning more and engaged more and more volume, trading volume, and um, a lot of great stories behind this. Now we look to the future and continuing to have it grow with all the enhancements. Rick Worcester, thank you so much, president of the Charles Schwab Corporation. Glad you were with us. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me, Nicole.